All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rachakwadash, which is to say the only true names of the Heavenly Father in the name of His Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, in ancient Hebrew tongue. I also want to give double honors to the elder apostles and bishops of Great Millstone who rule well the top Bible teachers on the planet Earth today. Hearty Shalom to all the sincere brothers throughout the four corners of the earth that push the unadulterated truth of the Bible and risk their lives doing so and never to waken up the hopefully elect of the nation of Israel. And to the few sisters that watch, I say Shalom to you as well. This is your brother Karab from the Great Millstone, Miami, coming back at you with the Psalm of the Week. And, um, you know, as usual, these are done as a constant reminder to you know, uh, you know, get a steady dosage, okay, of the Psalms, which, uh, you know, a source of inspiration, a source of prayer, and also a source of prophecy, okay? So, no further ado, this week we got, uh, we got Psalms. Oh, man, what's going on here? Hey, this, this <laughs> that ain't right. Salakia. Uh, where are we? Uh, yeah, I believe we had Psalms chapter Psalms chapter thirty-eight, right? And it says a uh, the, at the header it says a prayer of a suffering penitent. Okay, and when you go into that word penitent, it, it basically means someone. Okay, because uh, you know back in the fourth century, okay. Um, you had a group, you know, and they, they titled them Christians, but obviously Israelites, okay? Um, and they basically um, were, were those, you know, who had committed, you know, serious sins and uh, pretty much, you know, went through a process of self-abasement, you know, and, um, you know, they would go before a bishop and, you know, confess their sins, you know, somewhat like a confessional, you know. Um, but ultimately, uh, we were all, uh, in a penitent mindset, okay, um, because we've all committed, you know, serious uh, offenses and sins against the Heavenly Father, and um, you know, through the Spirit and power of Yahweh Shemal Shai, uh, we've abased ourselves in, you know, in the manner of, you know, removing ourselves from this world and basically being obedient to the Heavenly Father to the best of our ability, okay? Why acknowledging our faults and our sins, confessing them to the Heavenly Father, okay? So uh, verse one. It says a psalm of David to bring to remembrance. O Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, rebuke me not in thy wrath, neither chasten me in thy hot displeasure. You see? Because uh the fact of the matter is, like the scriptures say, you know, uh whom the most high love if he chasten it. Okay? Now, uh ultimately, you know, all of our people are gonna get chastened, you see, but King David is showing you that. Uh, there are two fashions, okay? You get chastened, you know, now, okay? Which I like to say the, the, the easy way, you know? And, and not to make light of it, because, hey, you know, we catch hell, man. And uh, it's it's uh, pretty much uh, around the board, you know? Brothers have the same testimony. We, we catch hell, okay? But, you know, ultimately, the chastening is for our correction, you see? Now, uh, those of our people who refuse you know, to, to return and ultimately are not of the elect of the nation of Israel, they'll be chastised with, okay, uh, basically um, the worst times in the history of mankind, okay? But nonetheless, uh, everybody, all Israelites will be chastised, okay? Um, and that's why King David said what he said. I'll read it again. It says, Oh, Yahweh Shemel Shai, rebuke me not in thy wrath, neither ch chasten me. Sabakia. Neither chasten me in thy hot displeasure. You see? So he's saying rebuke him not in his wrath. Okay? And we all know the wrath of the Heavenly Father. Okay? Uh, the scriptures tell us what? It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Okay? Uh, verse 2. It says, For thine arrows stick fast in me, in thy hand, uh, in thy hand, Presseth me sore. There is no soundness in my flesh because of thine anger, neither is there any rest in my bones 
because of my sin you see so the conditions that we go through the it's all because hey as the scriptures say i i will bear it in, i believe it said in lamentations okay it tells you that uh uh you know uh, the lamentations of jeremiah he said look i uh, I will bear the indignation of the Most High because I have sinned. You know, and don't quote me on that, I, I, uh, whether it's in Lamentations or not. Okay. Um, but that is a scripture. You know, it, it says, uh, uh, you know, I will bear uh, I will bear the indignation of the Lord because I have sinned. You see, so the things that we're going through and the, the hell that we catch and the chastening, you know, Ultimately, is 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 you know punishment. Us being in hell, us being in captivity, it's a part of our punishment. But the great news is that the Lord is chastening us as a form of correction. Okay, ultimately, so that we can be saved. You know, Lord willing, with those men. Verse four, it says, "For mine, it says, for mine iniquities are gone over mine head, as an heavy burden." They are too heavy for me. You see, and this is King David. This is our King David, man. Okay, but what is being exemplified? Humility. He's abasing himself. Okay, he's confessing his faults to the Heavenly Father. You see, and that's why, okay, when the nation of uh, the kingdom, oh, okay, the kingdom of heaven is established, okay, here on earth, hey, as the scriptures say, our King David, okay, will reign supreme under our Lord, Yahweh Shai. You see, so it wasn't about, you know, his iniquities. It was about him confessing it and letting the Lord know, okay, uh, uh, that he acknowledges his faults and his sins. And he was of a humble and contrite spirit. You see? Verse 5, it says, My wounds stink and are corrupt because of my foolishness. I am troubled. I am bowed down greatly. I go mourning all the day long. For my loins are filled with a loathsome disease, and there is no soundness in my flesh. I am feeble and sore broken. I have roared by reason of the, dis uh, of the disquietness of my heart. Lord, all my desire is before. It says, Lord, all my desire is before thee. And my groaning is is not hid from thee. You see? So that's a part of this, man. Okay, crying, hey, the scriptures tell us. Uh, Ezekiel 9 and 4. Set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and cry for the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Okay, and also the scriptures say the souls of the just contain uh, complain unto me continually. You see? So this is a part of it, you know. Verse 10, this is our father now. This is our heavenly father, okay? He have care for his elect, Lord willing with those men, okay? And he, he answers, and he hears our groanings, okay? And that's why you see these things taking place in the earth as such, okay? Now, obviously, it's all according to his will and according to prophecy, but according to the prophecy, he said he will pour his spirit out upon his people, okay, the elect, and they will cry unto him and he will hear them and he will deliver them, okay? That's always been the case. Verse 10, it says, My heart panteth, my strength faileth me. As for the light of mine eyes, it also is gone from me. Verse 11, My lovers and my friends stand aloof from my sore, and my kinsmen stand afar off. They also that seek after my life lay snares for me, and they that seek my hurt speak mischievous things and imagine deceits all the day long. Verse 13. But I, as a deaf man, heard not. And I was as a dumb man that openeth not his mouth. Thus I was a man that heareth not and in whose mouth are no reproofs. For in these, O Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Salakia, for in thee, O Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, do I hope thou will hear, O Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, my power. For I stand here, Salakia, for I said, Hear me, lest otherwise they should rejoice over me when my foot slippeth 
they magnify themselves against me for I am ready to halt and my sorrow is continually before me for I will declare mine iniquity you see it's him declaring his sin you see it says for I will declare mine iniquity I will be sorry for my sin right going into being humble and contrite okay which is what the Heavenly Father is is, 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 is searching for okay why because the scriptures say he searches the reins meaning your intent your heart yeah we we're fashioning sin we're gonna go off okay we don't make occasion to sin, you know, but hey, it's going to happen. The scripture says a righteous man falls seven times. Okay? But he gets back up. Okay? And doesn't fall into mischief. Okay? And he confesses his faults and asks the heavenly ask asks asks the heavenly father, okay, to 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 basically to to correct me, you know, correct correct himself. You see verse 19 it says but mine enemies are lively and they are strong and they that hate me wrongfully are multiplied okay and that fits our you know our bill man okay we're in that same lot okay our enemies are lively you saw Edom he is the harbinger of death okay and they have magnified themselves a multiplied you know and and and, and, and you know it says uh it says, and they that hate me wrongfully are multiplied, you see? And that, that ain't just Esau, Edom. That's also, you know, of our own people, okay? Those that uh, slander, you know, the Israelites, and, you know, and even those that are Israelites that that, that, that that come against us, you know, wrongfully. Here it is. The Heavenly Father has bestowed the 100% truth upon us, and we want to share that. Hey, we can't stop doing videos, okay? Obviously, through the Spirit and Power of Yahweh by Shemel Shai, okay? But they hate us. But hey, it's cool. I just did a video this week, you know, saying you can hate me now. You can hate us now. Okay, why? Because when you're wicked, you're going to hate righteousness and vice versa. Plain and simple. Verse 20, it says, they also, they, uh, they also that render evil for good are mine adversaries because I follow the thing that good is. You see, just further uh, edifying what I just said, you know. That, and that's really the war. It's a war of attrition. And it's been since the beginning of time. A war between good and evil. Okay, and obviously the Heavenly Father is the orchestrator, you know. But the great news is, since the Heavenly Father is the orchestrator, that means good is going to prevail. Okay. Verse 21, it says, Forsake me not, O Yahweh by Shemel Shai, O my power. Be not far from me. Make haste to help me. O how about Shmi Shai, my salvation? Until next time, Kwam Yasharala Shalom.